Is this the best microphone that you can get for under a hundred pound? Let's find out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dan, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, consider subscribing because we make really cool videos, such as this really cool video about this really cool microphone. Now, if you've been around here a while, you might have heard me talk about a different microphone, not even six months ago, and call it the best streaming microphone that you can get in 2020. That microphone was the Morantz MPM 1000, and that video is somewhere around me right now. I might have lied to your face in that video, but I didn't know that I was lying to your face, so all should be forgiven while we talk about this microphone. This is the Rode NT-USB Mini, and well, look at it. It looks amazing, and it's so, so small. Look how small it is. You beautiful little microphone, you little cute, tiny. But does cute mean that it's gonna be any good? Well, sometimes cute things harbor a terrible secret, such as Jigglypuff from the Pokemons. But here, no such dirty little secret, this guy is great. So if you're a content creator, you probably have multiple reasons that you might want something like this. You might be a podcaster, streamer, podcaster, I've already said podcaster, gamer, listener, thinker, singer, musician, guitarist, lover, fighter. For me personally, I came to something of a crossroads in my sounds wanky, content creation journey. And basically what I wanted was to downsize all of my big, heavy XLR, USB interface, microphone things, and get them into something a bit more manageable, a bit more portable, and a bit easier to use, basically. All of that stuff was overkill for me. And if you actually think about it, you sit down with a pen and paper and you sort of think about what you actually do with your big XLR mixer, how many channels do you need? Probably one, maybe two, but probably one. So it might be overkill and it was overkill for me. And that's how I landed at this. Now there's a million USB microphones on the market. Amazon is absolutely full. It's bursting, it's uh, at the seams and it's mm. not a lot of them are any good, to be honest with you. There's a lot of sort of factories making, for want of a better word, cheap most of the USB microphones that you see on the market are aimed at streamers and that's because streamers love them. The plug and play, they can just get on with it. Microphone manufacturers are starting to realise that now and they're bringing out more and more. But Rode in 2016 brought out the NT-USB, which was the precursor to this. It's the big boy version of this. You can still get it. It's about £160. But why spend £160 when you can get all of the same features? Asterisk there. There's some features you don't get, but I'm going to gloss over those in a smaller little hundred pound thing. So if that was the big boy, this is its baby, but this is such a capable microphone that you would never call it a baby. It's such a nice feeling guy. Here's why. So what's so good about it? Well, let's start with how cheap it is. It's 91 pounds, which is a full 60 pound cheaper than the big boy NT-USB that Rode sells. And it's a, roughly the same cost as a Blue Yeti. It puts it firmly into Blue Yeti territory. And that's kind of, the brand. People know about Blue Yeti, people know about that brand of microphone. People buy them, they trust them because they're easy to plug and play. And right here we have a plug and play microphone that is just as good in my opinion. So why would you pick this over a Blue Yeti? Well the truth is they're pretty similar. There's no specific reason why I would go for one, why you should go for one over a Blue Yeti. I think I personally went for it for the reasons I'm about to tell you about but it's a toss up. If you want to get a Blue Yeti, by all means get a Blue Yeti. If you don't want to get a Blue Yeti, then there's a lot of USB microphones out there. But I'm kind of putting them in the same price point just because it makes sense because a lot of people already use the Blue Yeti and love the Blue Yeti. And this is squarely aimed at people who might be thinking about the Blue Yeti. So first reason it's great, the road name. The road name is currently the, the go-to for content creators, for vloggers. They're using the video micros, the video mic pro goes, all of that kind of stuff. Um, the, I call the N NTG. There's a shotgun mic that a lot of people have started using. And in podcasting, a lot of people go in the same way because Rode have brought out the Rodecaster Pro, which is an XLR interface that you plug into USB. All of the stuff is self-contained. All of Rode's mics just work with it. You can even get a podcaster pack. It's pricey, but it does everything at great quality. And people are starting to move to it because it's so easy. And people trust Rode and people trust Rode for good reason. They've built up this awesome, feeling in the marketplace for people. People trust Rode and why shouldn't they? This is a great microphone. This is the first time I've actually spent money on a Rode microphone. I did get one previously, but it was somebody gave it to me. 
and it was good quality. And this is even better quality than that. It's well built. Look at this. It's, I trust Rode just from this. Look at it. It's all metal, except for that bit, which is plastic, so ignore that. But all of this is metal and nice, and it's just, mmm. It's well built, it screams quality when it comes out of the box and that's exactly what you want from a microphone when you're investing what is effectively a lot of money for a lot of people. Second, this thing is, look at it, it's super versatile and it's super versatile because of this little stand guy here. Look, look what you do, you just pop it off, pop it on and it rotates to any angle and you can pop it on, pop it off. Speaking it like that, if you want that nearly fell over, but you can do, look, look at the stuff you can do with this microphone. Yeah, it's great. And if you don't want the magnetic base, because sometimes it isn't high enough and sometimes you might want to be able to get it onto a microphone arm or something like that, or such as microphone stand as I've got here, you basically just pop the magnet off the bottom, screw this little adapter that comes with it on and you're away. It's great. So if you are just doing a podcast or a video call, you keep it on the little magnetic base in front of you, chat away to it. If you want to do something more involved, you want to do like voiceover singing, even if you want to lower it down and play a guitar into it, a harp into it, a kazoo into it. You can do all of those things by sticking it on a different microphone stand and it's really versatile and lets you do that perfectly. Now, a big reason of why I got this microphone is how portable and versatile it is. So gone are the days of the XLR mixer. I thought that was overkill. It was a lot of stuff to be dragging around with me, big chunky microphones, massive XLR mixer. It was a Behringer 1200 Zenix thing. It was massive. There was no need to have it. So get that out the window, get this guy in instead. And it's one little plug. There it goes. My podcast setup and my voiceover setup has gone from this huge, it needed its own desk in my room effectively to this. It's the mic, it's the dongle, it's the iPad, and we're done. The sound straight out of the box here is stellar. You don't need to do a thing if you don't want to. I haven't during this video and hopefully you've thought, damn, Dan sounds great there. The cool thing about it is you want to sit down and record a podcast, stick this in, plug it into the side, hit garage band on, start chatting. You want to record some vocals for your next super hit SoundCloud rap thing that you do, plug it in, garage band, away you go. You want to talk to your awful mother, on video call, don't tell her that I called her awful because she's probably the nicest lady in the world. But you want to talk to her, you plug it in, you can't hear her yet because you have to plug in the, the little headphone jack at the back there and that's the little, look at that, the pièce de résistance there. Little headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so you can monitor the sound either coming straight out of your iPad, computer, whatever, or you can click this little guy. This is gonna fly away now, it's gonna completely collapse. You click this little guy, you can then monitor your own talking into the microphone with a little bit of the signal mixed in together. So it's all nice, it's all versatile, and this little guy at the front controls the headphone volume, which is nice, it's a nice little thing. So as much as I love this mic, it would be rude to not tell you what is bad about it, some of its shortcomings. So let's go ahead and do those really quick. Um, like I just mentioned, this guy here isn't a gain control, it's just to listen to what's in your headphones. So that means that everything you do with regards to the gain in here, you basically have to do in software. So you plug it into a Windows PC, stick the input volume up to 100 and you're pretty much good. Same with an iPad. There are a few drawbacks there in that if you're using apps such as Anchor, for instance, it doesn't let you change the the input gain. So effectively you have to do that afterwards a little bit and it's a bit fiddly. Sometimes I've recorded a podcast, it's just sounded not quite right and it has needed boosting afterwards. Not a big drawback for me because I know how to do it, but if you are looking for a plug and play solution and you're a bit worried that maybe, you, you know, it might sound a little bit quiet, it will. So you need to kind of find a way to get around that. Depending on what program you use though, that's not necessarily a big deal but it might be a big deal if you're coming from somewhere where you're used to having, you know, input gain, used to having a mixer. So you used to be able to basically on the hardware decide what audio levels are going into your computer. That was a long way of saying there's no gain switch on there. Another thing that I don't like about it is there's a, it's a condenser mic, which is great because it means that you can sort of lay off it a little bit and you in theory talk to it from back here. I know I'm talking into the back of it and that's just not going to work, but here is about the distance that you would want to be like a, I don't know, like a foot and a half maybe. Sometimes it feels like you have to be on top of it and almost treat it like a dynamic mic in certain situations, which again, isn't necessarily a problem because that is just all down to microphone technique, but it's a little bit of a pain sometimes because it means that you have to sort of, if you're using the magnetic base, for example, you have to hunch over and hunching over is never good for your back. 
not when you're my age. Last thing, and possibly the worst thing, this little magnetic base is one of the most fiddly things I've ever come to, to use for anything. Yes, once it's set up, you kind of just plug and play, but if you want to switch it between a microphone stand and then the base, there's a little, the little um, thread adapter that you pop on there. You pull that off, and then to get it back on the magnetic base, there's a little bit of rubber that kind of, you have to stick in, stick it in, and it's a, it's a ball, like it's awful to try and get in there. It's really fiddly. But again, that might be a me problem. I'm not the most dexterous person in the world. You might be, you know, you might be able to, you might be a world-class surgeon, so you're not gonna have a problem with it, but these monkey claws can't do it. So I put that down as a drawback. It might not be a drawback for you, but it's a bit of a pain in my ass. And one more elephant in the room. I did say earlier that this was really cheap, and it is really cheap for a Rode microphone, but it's not necessarily really cheap for a USB microphone. So it might not be right for you, but, there's a lot of microphones out there and sorry I can't give you any recommendations on those because I've not used them, but yeah, I have gone from a microphone that was very budget and it felt very budget to this, which is, it feels much more premium and the, the price jump was about £50, which is, again, a lot of money for a lot of starting out content creators, but I think it's worth the investment. I certainly think it's worth the investment, so that's why I kind of put it in there as a, as a drawback, but you're paying for quality at the end of the day. You want quality, you're gonna have to pay for it, so yeah. So in conclusion, should you buy this microphone? I think that you should. I think that if, if you can afford this microphone, go ahead and buy it. There's no reason why you shouldn't. It's a, it's a great piece of kit, it's well made, it's versatile, it's really, really, really easy to use. And just like, look at it. It looks like an old, an old timey, I'm making an announcement, the school lunch announcement maybe. I'm on stage, I'm Elvis Presley, I'm shaking my hips. I just wanna be a teddy bear. Elvis and it's just it sounds fantastic it looks fantastic it feels fantastic and if you are like me or were like me trying to downsize your setup and you want to just be able to plug and play on an iPad or an iPhone or something not just those things you can do it on other tablets and phones but if you wanted to just be able to plug and play then dongle permit and you can go ahead and do that and it doesn't it doesn't impact the overall quality. In fact, it, it levels up the quality for what you're able to do on an iPod or an iPhone. So from that point of view, I feel like it's a good investment and I think that you should go ahead and buy it if that's what you're looking for. If not, no hard feelings. I don't work for Rode. And just like that, we're at the end of this video now. If I helped you or entertained you, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want more of this kind of content, hit the subscribe button because we do content creation and cameras, microphones, all that kind of stuff at a budget where we can because We've not got, it's a pandemic. We've not got loads of money to be throwing around at this kind of stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, thanks, bye. He's very far away right now. Ugh.